Testing. Das ist gut. 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 Das Du musst die GMO. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't talk to Emily about his kids. Egg rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Just nothing about the static. Welcome back. Yo. What's we gotta, going on? We gotta go back. <laughs> back in. Oh. Oh, it's a Tangela. Oh. Oh man! One of the good, one of the good grass Pokemon. Oh, do we have any sounds? Any surrounds? You're so needy. I forgot to, I forgot to, I forgot to tell you, to remind you. But we're okay. Ah. We're fine. We got, we got the sounds. Dude, let's so. talk about riots, man. Oh, that's my favorite thing to talk <laughs> about now. Okay, well first let's take it back a little bit. So Gilbert was in the studio with you yesterday. Yeah, so to date the video. Today is the 28th. Yesterday, I think, was the 27th yes. of May in 2020. But uh, Gilbert, his uh, his homie, as cousin, we call him, Gildo. Gil it's like Gildo. Uh, that's that's clever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I had him over here, and we uh, we Don't podcasted all day for. Uh, for like almost six hours or something yeah, like that. That's a magical experience. But anyways, we got to, <laughs> we had deep conversations um, on wow. one of the episodes. Women on a different thing uh, with the George Floyd situation. Yes. And uh, so, what did, what were your overall your... thoughts and things? And then yeah, I'll, I'll tell you my opinions here in a second. But yeah, what were your overall thoughts and conclusions that you reached um, throughout that conversation? Yeah. Uh, we kind of discussed a bit of trying to make analogies for each situation but to, to really briefly summarize kind of the points I that I'm, I'm reflecting off of right now is yeah. everybody is their own individual person but we do need to take a stand as a people uh -huh. to make changes which are very necessary to the progression of society as a whole what people do you mean by that? Uh, as in like our United States uh Congressional people, okay. like not not the government itself, but the government should be the people, not just uh, not just the people well, that we've elected that just well, happen the people to be there of power, for, people of power should be put in check, right? Yes, that that's what. Uh, so uh, we were talking a bit about. Okay, so um, what else? Um, what what else did you conclude from that? Or what were Gilbert's thoughts as well, if you remember? Uh, his standpoint. Detox today. I can't uh, can't think of anything right now, but uh, roll off what's on your head, and I'll I'll just add to some of the. Yeah, so I I'm more or less. I, I I'm trying not I don't I try not to watch the news, and I try not to like pay attention to these things, even though they're glaring me in the face with every like everybody puts this in my face all the time. So there's no avoiding it. Is what I'm trying to say. So my mom, I live with my mom at the moment, um, and my mom is married to a uh, police officer. And my whole stance on it is, you know, I see him as not the police officer. I always see him as my mom's husband, you know. Mm -hmm. So in, in a sense that like I I don't know him that well because like we barely talk, but like I know that he's there for my mom and they love each other and all that stuff. So there's like there's one side of that that I see. Um, the other standpoint is like, okay, cops in general, uh, there are there are a system of security that is put in place for us to rely on, supposedly, you know. So, and essentially, when when one person does something wrong, it reflects bad on the entire industry or the entire scope of everything, which should be the case, and also should not be the case. So, for example, you're saying that. Uh, kind of what I got concluded for you that people of authority or people that are that have more power in this country, you know, whenever things hit the fan like it like it did, um, there needs to be the right per you know the right calls to actions. And from what I saw, that there was none. 
there was no right way that no one handled this correctly. You know, like um, and that's both from the, the police thing. standpoint and the <laughs> the um, people standpoint. The people standpoint. I think I was maybe more outraged that the people just standing there stood there watching him die. Yeah. Rather than. Well, that's that's the thing. It's like you. How would you know what would have happened, right. and that he would have died? But going on with that video, right? Like you, you see the video, and the first the first video that pops up that everyone was talking about was that it just shows the police officer that had his uh, his his knee down on the guy's neck, mm -hmm. and the guy was saying, "I can't breathe" and all that stuff. So from that video, caused a lot of controversy. Of well, this guy just murdered him right there and then. Yeah. But. What me and my mom were talking about uh, the other day, because you know she's she's terrified and she's like very worried about her husband and all that stuff. Because like there are people on the force and there are people on the streets that are innocent to all of this stuff that should not be involved or even that should not have any consequences to the actions of people that that are doing these terrible things. You know they should not be a result of consequences. Right. Um, but oh, BCC. Anyway. Um, I forgot what I was, what I was just talking about. Oh yeah, so the so going back to that to that video, right? Um, apparently, there was a video, or there was just, no one stops to think about the reason before that, right? Because you see the result, and people more care about the result and the actions of that so-called thing. And because it was a police officer that supposedly murdered this person, uh, from what I from what I heard, yes, he did like uh, he did cause injury to the man, and the man later died in the hospital or on the way to the hospital. Um, because of what transpired. Um, but what happened before, I still keep getting, I'm, I'm still hearing things left and right of like what actually happened. Like supposedly he was going into a liquor store to get liquor and he was already hammered and he, the bartender or the person that was at the liquor store didn't want to sell him any beer and then the guy started making a ruckus and that's where they called the police. So you assume that like this guy did something bad to get the police called on him is one thing, right? So that's one justification of like, okay, this person might have been not well and was acting a little different, you know, a little more right. suspicious than usual. And also, here's another element to add on to that. When yeah. somebody's like, um, like doing something wrong and the police need to handle it, he's already had them contained. So like, George was already bound. Well, there was no need to... And that's maintain so pressure on the knee, you know, like yeah, well, it went well, above and beyond past what he should have done. Granted, there's adrenaline and other things, but to no, that took it way too far, though. That you didn't have to do that. Yeah, he was already restrained. You didn't have to put your knee on that dude's neck. Like after he's already like he can't go anywhere. Yeah, but uh, I'm more or less. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that point because that's a that's a whole other thing on itself. But like I was saying, there's a reason why this guy got the police called on him. Number one. Mm. And this happens on a day to day basis where somebody gets the police call on them because they act out of line and they do something they weren't supposed to do. And that's where the police system comes in, right? That's the first half of it. Yep. And maybe it was right of them to arrest him. Maybe it was wrong. Maybe it wasn't even the right situation. Like I said, I don't really know what the actual facts are because there's new news coming out of this. And there's a press conference that was being held this morning and. Uh, about this about this story and you know more news gets getting shed and all that stuff about it But my whole stance on it was that there's a reason why the police officer came and arrested him now That's one one part of it that could happen to any of us any of us can get arrested for doing something We were supposed to do but the other half of it Did he actually do anything wrong? I don't know and that's where you can see the corruption if there is corruption in the system then everyone needs to be held accountable to the system so that we can overall create a better system or even you know take compare and contrast yeah if there is so like i said i'm not i don't really i don't really watch the news and i don't really know too much about it but from what i understood maybe there maybe he did do something wrong maybe he didn't going on with that <laughs> when you actually have someone bound in handcuffs you don't they're not gonna they can't run and you don't have to put your leg on the guy's neck so that he you can immobilize him in fact, by the way, if I don't know if you guys ever did this, but if you lie on your chest and turn your neck, it feels very uncomfortable, number one. But if your neck actually is touching the ground while, you're, yeah. while your head is turned, it's you're crushing someone's, you know, uh, windpipe. And they're not going to be able to breathe, like, for obvious reasons. So it's like, 
that was obvious, so you didn't have to do that. So now it comes to the point of like, one, did you actually have to put that much force to restrain the guy? Yeah, and it, it wasn't like he, uh, we I talked with Gilbert yesterday about, uh -huh. it. it's not like you have your leg underneath you or you're sitting on the ground with your knee kind of just happening to be like on the guy. Yeah. You know how you have different stances when you squat or you kneel down? Right. You can have your knee knees, like, all your weight on your knees, which is what the guy was doing. Right. Instead of just, like, squatting with your heels, and then your knees just happen to be, like, one of them touching on the ground, or, you know? Right. But he was putting uh, his whole like, weight, whole, supposedly, right? Yeah. One on the shoulder blade, I believe, and the other one on the neck. So, that's, like, 200 to 300 pounds, depending on the officer. And sometimes those belts and those uniforms... They do get heavy from all the equipment that you put on them. Yeah, if you just take an average male, it's 200 with, I don't know, 20, 30 right. pounds of gear. You know, it's 230 to 250. Exactly. So it's a, it's quite a amount of weight. And that, like like we were saying, that getting pushed from your windpipe, crushing your windpipe in your throat. Yeah, that's not a, that's like worse than like a blowjob at camp, you know, by like the biggest black guy there, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> yeah. you're like it, it's it's bad, like, it's just bad all around, and my basic, my my basic things is like, obviously, like, um, Floyd, uh, I forgot, what was his name, Floyd, um, George Floyd, George Floyd, and all his family members, like, I send my, I send them my deepest regards for what happened, because that, none of that, to that point, none of that should have ever happened. And I feel so terrible for, for people that maybe are not supposed to be treated that way. Or, like I said, I don't really know the whole story. I don't know if he actually needed to be restrained like that or not. But, but from what we saw, and that's initial reactions, right? And from what we saw, it just looked like, it just looked terrible. Like, maybe he did do something terrible, but it didn't seem like it, right? Yeah, and it's, honestly, I feel it's a lot of um, more the personal... Uh, individual like officers that you know let's say he was having a bad day but it still is up to the um, officer to be like the bigger person right so something that happened to me is that's something I want to make a video about this someday too it's when I was with uh, I was at a restaurant and the same thing happened to me on my last day where I didn't kill somebody <laughs> but it was more of the fact that like I was the guy I, I, re I w when this video came out I saw myself as the police officer that had my foot down on the guy's neck I didn't do that to somebody, but this is kind of like the analogy that I saw myself in. Because someone recorded me doing something that I felt was right, and that I know was not supposed, you know, I, I knew that the per, the people that were trying to get their way and, tr you know, making this a terrible situation, I knew that they were just playing games and making it a terrible scene for everybody. So I felt that I was doing my part as a restaurant employee, right? And I felt that I was supposed to make these calls the right way because of I wasn't trained in this way but it's just you know the the example was that like how am I gonna serve someone that's asking for free food and taking free things from us and just stealing from our companies or more or less stealing from us you know I that was more or less my situation um, at the restaurant that I was at people were trying to steal food from us so I did the right thing and not serve them food and you know later they started causing a riot called the call the police they made a video video got out of context and obviously um if i was still working at that restaurant i would have been fired because i came to that restaurant on my last day to help out uh an employee uh for her shift um basically to run the shift because you know they, they, she needed people so i came there free will on my last day to help them out but it just went sideways it went sideways at the end of the night it went sideways and apparently the next day she got fired no one, no one touched, no one from the company that she, that we were working for called us, nothing. The people that were in the video instantly fired. However, um, I kept getting uh, messages and I kept getting death threats and everything. Like, you're so stupid, you're so ignorant, why would you do that? But the video, like I said, is out of context. They don't really know what happened. But you see in the video and that's your initial reaction. But no one ever got our testimony, no one ever got our... Our official you know word so it's it's kind of like out of all those things I I look like the bad guy although I know in my heart that I'm not so that's why like when I saw that the police officer was getting recorded and you know he for whatever reason believed that this is what the right thing was 
Um, we can take it. We can take this uh, this situation two ways. Maybe he did believe that he, what he was doing was right, and maybe he didn't feel like he was gonna kill him. But um, you know, he the the guy later died, you know, on the way to the hospital. But maybe his conviction was like, no, this dude's out of hand and all that stuff. And obviously, like if you watch the video, for me, I don't believe like he, he you didn't have to restrain him to that point. If he if he was guilty of something or if he was like supposed to be restrained you didn't have to take it that far absolutely not but i then again i'm not a police officer and i'm not really someone that can like <laughs> really hold someone down like that i just tell them to go hey go in the wagon and just wait for me but later <laughs> the most absurd yeah. part at least what i think yeah is that yes there was that one officer pinning him down but for god's sakes there's three more officers there yes that can't handle the situation which was revealed later on apparently it was only one officer the, the video showed one officer there but then it revealed that, yes, there were more people there, like you said, the officers and the bystanders over there. The bystanders, what can you really do? It's your word against a police officer, you're gonna get arrested too, you know? And at the same time, uh, the police officers that were there, they could have done something as well, like you said. But, here's where it reflects everything, right? If... When that action took place, you you now assume that all police officers or all people that work for this department or whatever, I think the general term is now or general consensus is that all police officers are bad. However, that's I don't believe that that's the case. I believe that those people, if you take it from one side of the story, that they were out of line and they completely like um, disregarded all human laws or just like human what's it called um the human condition of of George Floyd. Um, they completely disregarded his health. Oh my god, I can't even think. But yeah, they completely disregarded his health. And because of that, they took the wrong actions and they did the wrong things. And that set the, the motion and effect of everything going today. On the other hand... How do you know, like, if he was right or not to do that? I don't believe it was. And I don't believe any of that stuff was any of the right course. But... Here's what kind of, I think this is what kind of set everything in motion, was that those people, the police officers, were just relieved of duty. That is not okay. Like, at all, because those were people who were not even held accountable for anything. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry, we, um, our game capture was not recording. Um, so we just, uh, we're gonna continue on our rants of what was going on with the riots, but... Um, I hope you enjoyed. I don't know. We'll just put, probably put like a slideshow or something, <laughs> 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 or maybe some like uh, yeah. We'll, we'll figure something out. Anyway, so going back to that. So, like I said, I I don't really know the entire situation, but from what it looked like, it looked bad. The with the riot. Um, I was gonna say something very important, and now I forgot. Um. Oh, but yeah. So, like I I think before we got uh. Bef before we were started, I was kind of saying like, okay, now you gotta, you can't just relieve those police officers from duty. You have to put them, uh, you have to hold them accountable and put them in check. Yeah. Because like, just relieving them from duty does not solve the case. You know, it does not solve the point of anything. Does it, it doesn't make anything better or worse. They're just relieved from duty. Um, because essentially what happens is that you let them, uh, you let their actions slide with like a slap on the wrist, and really, that's not what it what should happen, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone from those things that transpired should hold trial, and there should obviously be a judge and everything in front of them and everything, and from there give their testimonials of what was what actually happened and transpired and everything. Like I said, I didn't watch the entire video, and I know there's more things getting on the news and all that stuff, but just a simple slap on the wrist and you're relieved from duty. That's it. That doesn't really solve what just happened, and I think those actions, because of that, set the emotions of the riot right after that. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so, that's where I was like, okay, because of those riots, because of everything that's going on right now, one, yes, you could protest that you have the, now, now you have the other side of it, you could have the, the innocent people or the bystanders protesting the police station, protesting that, hey, this is not okay, they need to be held accountable, and we need to change these systems so that this doesn't ever happen to anyone ever again. And I'm all for that. Because that did not need to transpire like that at all, mm -hmm. you know? 
And I'm not saying that it should have, but I'm 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 just it's a, it's I'm a wake up call that uh, like certain things, while while sad or like not okay because they happened, we should be able to learn from it. But also things like this have happened before and haven't changed. So how many times does it have to happen before yeah. you know things would make a difference? Well, that's what's that's what's also funny. It's like these things. Uh, someone put up a picture of like uh, three other innocent uh, um, people from the black community were also killed brutally, like in these in these other forms, like either beaten to death or just horribly disfigured from police officers. So I can I can understand the 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 rage and the what's it called the anxiousness of people that like this needs to change. Just one, I totally understand that. But this is where I think it took it a little too far. Because there are radicalists and there are extremists out there yeah. that, like, we live in a society where anyone could just go into a school and shoot it up. Like, it's horrible things that no one wishes would happen, but we live in a society where that can happen, you know? Um, and that's it's horrible to think about. But going on with that, because of those riots, one was a protesting, which I believe it had every right to do that. Everyone has a right to protest, you know, to their heart's content. But there's a point where that protest became terrorist attacks. Yeah. And from that terrorist attack, people were getting gassed and were getting, uh, what's it called, tear gas and everything. And it's, for me, I was just like, you guys need to get out of there, number one. And two, had, if you, one of the, one of the thing of the protesters, the protesters, I believe, part of it is innocence. You know, people are there just to see justice and get justice for Floyd. But... There's that other standpoint of like, there's other people like, no, we don't, we don't need change to happen. We need, or we need, we don't need change to happen today. We need it to happen months ago, years ago. So those radicalists and those extremists start bombing things and start lighting things on fire, and then that's where things just get horribly out of control, and that's what happened. That, and then that's where the tear gas happened. And not all the protesters were there to protest. Uh, oh, sorry, not all the to, protesters to were there to violence. exactly. Yes, thank you. Um, they weren't all there to do that, but unfortunately they were caught up in all of this craziness and all of this stuff Where it comes to a point where like if I were to go down there or like Gilbert, you know, he went if he goes down there He's there as an innocent bystander here to protest, you know, so his convictions are right But still could get caught in all that crazy violence mess that other people bring to it exactly well they started a fire you know they they, they burned down a couple buildings and people are, are robbing store. It's more chaos in our uh, in our state, then it's then it's been for a while. You know, it's 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 horrible. It's absolutely horrible, and it it makes me uh, afraid that you one you can't really trust people. Like you can't trust everybody. You can, I would only say trust the friends, trust, trust your family members, um, because you know them. You know what they're capable of and what they're what they would do, won't do. But strangers out there in the wild, you don't know what could happen. Um, so it comes to the point of this, right? The riots happen, everyone's asking for for justice for, for George Floyd, but then SWAT teams came, and now it's absolute chaos right now. Where, like I said, stores are being robbed, and stores are being destroyed, and absolutely bombed and everything. And then from there, are you really... Are you, are you any far worse than the cop that killed George Floyd at that point? Because you 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 could be putting other lives in danger by just bombing these places and murdering and or sorry and robbing stores and like trampling people from these riots and all this putting other people in danger for rallying even a riot. You know, are you any better than than the cop there? I don't think this is the right way to solve this injustice. Don't get me wrong though; those police officers that were there do need to put, do need to be put in place. They do need a whole trial. Or to stand trial and to go, what's it called? Get justifications for the right. What's it called? Um, I guess just stand trial. I guess I can't really think of the right word. Yeah. But that's my overall stance on it. But right now, it's you don't know if you can call the cops or not, if they're even gonna respond. For me, this morning, um, the cops uh, were coming to my house because uh, apparently my mom's husband was going to work and I guess he never checked in. And my mom's worried that, like, oh, her husband can die right now because, you know, he's an innocent bystander. He's just doing his job as a cop. But 
you, you know, because cops are held to such a, a regard, you know, you don't think that they would ever be, you know, use that power to to do that. But the way I see it is, though, is that cops is the standard of what we want as a society to be, but the people, the, the police officers, are Individual. individualized people. Individuals that can abuse their power. Yeah. Which, it's Honestly, it's pretty in, easy in to anywhere, do. Honestly, in anywhere, any form of, uh, in any form of power, not just, um, not just as police officers, but like any government body that we have, yeah. there's people that are abusing them right now, but on the topic of... Because it's easy to do. Yeah. You just can. Of police officers, it's also scary, like you were mentioning, the radicalists, or like the extremists, are, uh, uh, affecting the innocent innocent like family members of those uh of the police officers and the families shouldn't even have that fear Th that shouldn't yeah. even be a question but there's people taking it to extremes well that's my fear right? or at least have the ability you know yeah um and so um i guess any any of the family members for the police officers that were involved in it as well as just any in our state it's just terrible to think about that. You know, there that, why, is, why should we have yeah. this situation? It's it's good to see blown out of proportion to awareness, but to take it to extremes of m more violence. Like yeah. I, I don't know. There's kind of a backwards mentality with that. Well, there's there should be. I feel like when the systems are down, there's no place for absolute moralism. Like you just. You have to stand to your own convictions and what you believe is right, but at the same time, not everyone will see it your way. Not everyone's going to see what you see. Um, and moral absolutism is not, well, you know, cannot exist in, in this state when the systems are down. They can't, it just can't exist because it's complete anarchy and chaos. Um, going along with that, though, uh, like I was saying, there's police officers coming to my house and just uh, making sure that um, my mom's husband is um, did check in, is safe, because you don't know what could happen today. You don't know what could happen tomorrow if these things are going to ramp up or slow down. In my experience, though, from what the things that the terrible things that happened to me, there is a right way and a wrong way to handle this. In my case, whenever those things happen, like when the when my restaurant. Um, I, incorrectly what's it called um, didn't follow up on me or my co-workers on the day of the incident um, it was already my last day and had I gotten fired or not would have been irrelevant because I wasn't gonna ever come back there because uh, that company failed me you know they didn't check up on me they didn't offer if I was okay they don't even know if I'm dead or alive all I know is that was my last day <laughs> You know, so for me, uh, when everyone was like tackling me and calling me out and everything, I just laid low. I, I laid low and I got a different job and I moved away from there and I felt, you know, I feel um, I felt safer because of it, because I'm, I moved on. And eventually everything calmed down. It took like, what, a month or two for my situation. This is not the same thing at all. Yeah. We're talking about riots and people <laughs> getting killed and stuff, but... This is where I'm saying, like, there are two right ways to handle this situation, and the right way is to stand those police officers in trial, have every department, every police department, to come up with a statement that we will not stand for this, that uh, there is a fine line between justice and, cru and cruelty, um, that, you know, that we try to, uh, that we try to walk, you know, uh, as police officers, but we need to... Um, we need to take a stand and make sure that when we do our job, we are doing our job to protect others, not to kill people. You know, like that—that that would be my—that would be my my way to come out of this is to make those public statements and to overall come up with a better system because there are the Department of Justice is getting looked at and all that stuff and all these things are getting looked at and you know it's just overall a terrible situation. But that would be my stance, is to do those things, come up with a public statement, and then from there, rebuild this. Because there are people looting and destroying uh, buildings right now, and that could put more people in trouble. Or that could harm more people than do good, you know. Obviously, how is that doing good for anybody? 
you're just <laughs> you're just doing it because like it's 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 horrible yeah so that would be my stance on it um to do that um and then eventually when you rebuild you gain back the trust of the people and from there move on but that's my whole stance on it uh i don't know if you have any wrapping thoughts with that but you yeah. know we uh gilbert and i had talked a bit about racism that kind of tied with it um or at least maybe i don't oh. know if it's apparent or not well that's, but that's elements, a good point possible elements to consider too well you never hear on black on black crime right yeah it's, it's never it's never heard or like published or even put well, in the it's media. It's not as emphasized. I, let's say that. When it, maybe you I want to say it. there's, isn't there more? Uh, yeah, there's more of that than uh, than there is. Yeah, uh, like police officers killing them. But it's just the, the point is like, you have because there's a police officer, an incorruptible supposed system here for justice. Right. It's taken to a more extreme, you know, mm -hmm. but. Let's just say, like, it was a black police officer that had killed George Floyd. Now, that'd be a different story. That's what Although I, I feel like about. that would be brushed over. Nobody would say anything. You know, it, But that it'd happens be... all the time. But that's where the part of racism where you guys talking, where, where you guys were talking about, because it was a white male officer that killed a black male, suppo like, murdered him, supposedly. Yeah. Um, or, you know, caused those terrible you know, caused a series of events that made him die later on. Because it was a white male officer that did that, you could see then that, like, oh my god, like, this is racism to its point. But if it was a black male officer, or even a black woman officer, just, uh, that killed uh, George Floyd, yes, it would be, it would still be publicized, because it's still a big deal, like, a police officer did this, and it, but it wouldn't be taken. The racism part would not be taken. It wouldn't be flipped as hard or yeah. like emphasized as. Because it's still to, a bad thing point. to do. Like it's still a terrible thing that what they did. Yeah. But it wouldn't be to this point, you know, where there would be violence and gangs on the street. But funny enough, China, for example, um, have the whole province, the whole country of China, or. You know, of Asia, or let's, of Asia, let's just say that. 99% um, of them are Asian. Is there hate crimes that happen there that escalates to things happening here that can escalate, like, compare and contrast to other places? I feel like their systems are just far more well developed. Maybe because there isn't so much racism, so, like, if, if a Hispanic person goes to China and gets killed by a police officer, how does that re you know that can reflect on China itself and can start a war? Or, you know all these all these things can happen, but those things they ha they still do happen. But like it's not like they're they're handled in in such a way that I feel um, ref reflect the crime or reflect the actual thing. So for example, um, if an American goes to Iraq and gets killed in Iraq, then you start bringing tanks and air forces over there. Uh, but does that really solve the issue? Is my question. You know? Yeah. Yeah, good things to think about. Well, it's more of like first impressions or first reactions can be sometimes might be wrong, but you yeah, gotta see it's your. It's also good to step back and yeah, yeah, think about what all is what is happening or what it, what is the full story kind of wrapping up with your uh, your personal reflection with that as well. Yeah, because you never know. Like maybe I'm pretty sure I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that. George Floyd did nothing wrong, like to to a point where like he didn't need to get his neck br broken or just squished on or whatever. It didn't have to go that far, and to the point of like, was George Floyd? Did George Floyd actually need to go to jail? Is one thing. Did he actually need to get his neck stepped on? Is a totally other thing, you know. But uh, two different things, and like I said, my deepest condolences to uh, the Floyds and um, the family members and the people that are getting tear like the innocent bystanders and more or less protesters that are protesting for the right reasons my I, I just hope everyone comes out safe and everyone comes out um you know reflecting on what's actually right and what's wrong to do yeah. um but yeah crazy stuff man uh are we over time i don't know a little bit but uh that was uh let's call it there but that was um uh condolences as well to the, to the rest of the family and everybody out there protesting 
Um, but that has been episode 45. 44? No, 45. Yeah, 45. you're right. 45. And, 45. 45. Uh, we will uh, catch you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned. Bye!